Eh, vlog it at 156. Jesse Cam. Jeez, that's dizzy. I was trying to make it, you know, feel very vertigo-y and uh, it worked a little too well on me. I'm kind of stressed out about the election tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, it's not the only thing on my mind. Um, there's a lot going on. I have an interview on Friday for one of the jobs in Chicago that I applied for. So that's good news that came out of today. But I, I forgot my tripod at home. I really wasn't in the mood to film much. I'm just kind of... Oh, feeling all like knotted up on the insides, my insides. So I think I'm gonna go for a run right now and then join my dad and my sister to watch the Seahawks game. This, I think this is just gonna be a short vlog, you guys. I just had to do some research for the staging company to automate their signing process and the scheduling of the staging and all that. And so that was good, I'm glad I got that done. But I'm, yeah, just kind of in a different place today in a different headspace. I think. If anything, I really just hope that no matter who wins tomorrow, that no matter who wins tomorrow, as a nation, we can start working towards listening to each other again and trying to understand each other and trying to come to common ground and recognizing that we actually have so much more that unites us and that we agree on than we disagree on and then we're really angry about. We're really angry about really small, simple things that I, I don't think are really what we're upset about. I think there's a lot more going on. There's a lot of tension from economics to racism to there's a, a variety of problems that face our country right now that we should be approaching and trying to solve directly instead of attacking each other. Yeah, if nothing else, I just hope that this is a wake-up call to the majority of the nation that, hey, we need to participate in the system, we need to talk to each other, we need to listen to each other, we need to get stuff figured out because yeah, we're, we're in a rough spot, but we're only gonna make it rougher if we spend all of our time yelling at each other and demonizing each other and threatening each other. Also, I really need to finish that visa application for France because I might need to I might need to bounce depending on how tomorrow goes. Ah! I have got to make this a quick run because we've bumped the timing back so that my dad and I can go together, which is great, but it means I gotta hurry. And I understand, I have a hard time listening to people who disagree with me sometimes based on what it is they're saying. If I really strongly disagree or have done research and know what they're saying to not be true, but listening is always the first step in any good conversation. And I feel like a good conversation is exactly what we need right now as a nation. Like, we gotta ha sit down and have the talk. Kind of like the birds and the bees, only probably significantly more awkward. Can you see me? It was huh, 3.26 miles and 28 something. You saw it better than I did. <laughs> All right, so not as fast as I wanted, but shorter run now to get showered really quick and run down for the game. So one of the things that Harry Potter has been teaching me about has been friendship, believe it or not. Just human decency and what good can come from simply treating people well and helping them out along the way. And uh, it's just what I've been thinking about. And I'm also hopeful that we can remember that as a nation and do each other favors. I mean, be good to each other. Like this guy walking his dog out here looks super sketchy. Uh, had like a bulldog, not on a leash, and he's walking around with a beer. But just warning him that there was a dog loose ahead, you know, my inclination was not to say anything to him because it's kind of dark out and he's kind of sketchy. But then I realized, you know, I'm just kind of judging this guy. I don't know him. I don't know what's going on. So, hey man, watch out for the dog up there because you don't want your dog to get into a fight, you know? He's like, oh, thanks, you know? And it's just one of those things where it's like, man, we get siloed off into our own little worlds and forget that there are humans on the other side of these interactions that would also appreciate a helping hand. And I tend to assume that the worst is gonna happen, like people are gonna get pissed off at me for some reason for trying to help them, but the reality is that most of us want to be helped and appreciated, so. No matter how tomorrow goes, I hope that we can all come together and help each other out. Yeah.
That is the insanity that I live with. 